Welcome fam to yet another episode of Renewal. Your Renewal is a program that presses the life of ladies and gentlemen across all walk of life. Stories of victory, stories of hope, stories of encouragement because as we always say, this is your home of inspiration. Today we have a guest, he's not a stranger uh, to Renewal. This is the second time that he's gracing our screens and we are always happy and it's always a pleasure to have him. He is called Pish and Pish is an acronym and it stands for purity is still happening let's get right to it purity is still happening yes it's interesting about uh, acronyms we, we we are running a show called uh, reflection mm -hmm. and uh, we are doing a series called the shape of life shape mm -hmm. is also an acronym uh, so S is spiritual gift, H is heart. So basically, if you know your shape in life, you know your purpose in life. So when I talk, when, when, when I think about peace and I think about shape, they're almost seamless. And one thing I know about you is uh, how passionate you are concerning purity, purity among young people. But when you think about purity as a whole, uh, is it sexual purity or even it translates other areas of purity? Uh, it cuts across every strata of life is not just uh, say in terms of sexual purity it's only that now it's the elephant in the room that's the elephant in the room <laughs> yes. and, and, and when you talk about sexual purity uh, mm. especially among young people yes. what does it uh, entail what really is sexual purity mm. sexual purity is really uh, when we come to the place of you know respecting the place of sex mm -hmm. and being aware uh, you know the divine the divinity behind sexuality you know the, the divine image of God of male and female mm -hmm. and also now the, the, the amazing uh, I would say the, the, the amazing containership of sex mm -hmm. in the setup of marriage mm -hmm. I think that is what really has not yet been clear Mm -hmm. amongst young people mm -hmm. and that's why they end up abusing it and we talk about abusing it mm -hmm. to what extent new and i know i know you're really you're really keen and and and, and, and you're really keen in young people you it's it's a, it's a group of people that you really interact with yes. when you talk about abuse what is the extent of abuse in sexual purity what are those example of excesses and abuse in sexual purity among the people that the young people that you're meeting in your missions now, it goes a long way mm -hmm. uh, because now you know, uh, with information, uh -huh. people become more liberal mm -hmm. and they want to try things. And right now we're living in an information age, I yes, can imagine. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. uh, there's an analogy uh -huh. uh, in one of Apostle Till's books. Uh -huh. He speaks about the three stages of a woman. What's the name of the book? In it, uh, the value of a woman's the value wife. Of a woman. uh, wow. So, I'm going to about the stage of um, fantasy. Fantasy. The stage of curiosity. Mm -hmm. Okay, the st stage of fantasy, the stage of discovery, mm -hmm. and the stage of purpose. Wow. Now, you see, uh, young people during the age of discovery, they mm -hmm. want to discover the stuff. Mm -hmm. You can really discover yeah, yeah, because yeah. now you can access <laughs> yes. internet and stuff. Yes. But this age of discovery, that is where now people begin to discover their sexuality. What is this age, uh, uh, predominantly? Uh, it's basically between the age of, I can say, as early as 10 wow. to around 20. Wow. That bracket there. That is where we have all the chaos ah, okay, okay. <laughs> in life. Kitambu ilikuwa okay. inanza 13, 14. Mm -hmm. But right now, it really begins even as early Lord. from wow. 9. Wow. Unakuta, this kid is just a mess if wow. nothing happens. Mm -hmm. uh, because you see, I believe the first battle we are fighting as a generation is that battle of information. Do mm -hmm. you remember, like in our place, mm -hmm. uh, Na kutu siya tini wocha sana. Yes. Stima ilifika ni kiwa form 2. Wow. <laughs> you see. Wow. But now, unajua city setup, uh, a child is born, kuna wifi, yeah. kuna 15 Everything. screen, yes. so ya can ni tablet. Yes, 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 <laughs> you know, yes. Internet uh, access. Uh, internet school. access, 5G. kuna yawa L5G, <laughs> yeah. mtani. Uh, by the time you're in class 4, uh -huh. unatumia, you know, you, you have an Android 10. Yeah, yeah, iPhone yeah. or whatever. Like when I put a tech eco, mm -hmm. so um, to we akona information. Vitu anajua at twelve years, mm -hmm. ulizijua at twenty. 
let me surprise you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mimi, when I left Form 4, mm-hmm. I was listening to a radio program, mm-hmm. and this man of God was sp- speaking about masturbation. I had not known what was that. That is the time I took dictionary and kind of on my mm, masturbation. Really, yeah. I, <laughs> eh, <laughs> I had not met that wow. until after Form 4. Wow. Now, but I to masturbate class 3, class 4, class 5. So would you say that uh, masturbation is one of the causes of uh, sexual immorality? Is it one of them among there are so many? Now, we just say what you want to say. Say, Christ is a masturbation. Okay. And it begins from porn, porn, uh, pornography. Oh. You see access of internet. Ah, and, yes. You know, you begin to watch pornography, mm-hmm. dirty content. In fact, in Azanga, a soft porn, it goes to hard porn, and then there is now you enter into masturbation. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, if you watch porn, mm-hmm. you go to it. Either you go now, porn is actually one of the major entrance mm-hmm. to sexual immorality. Do mm-hmm. say wengi okay, when they have access to pornography, now they jump into fornication mm-hmm. because you want to try what you saw. Ah, yeah. So was one in fornication, we don't get masturbation. Now because porn is demonic, mm-hmm. some uh, it's really okay, study mystery upon is mm-hmm. connected to that to dark altars. Was here to receive spirits the lesbianism. No. Just from watching. Yeah, just from watching. You saw not you are pale you're the one who went for it. Yes. It never found you. When you open that site. What you just mentioned, you're the one who went for is it a principle that backs what you've said? You see what happens, uh, uh, actually, what you repeatedly do uh, okay. creates an altar. Okay. You see. What's uh, an altar for so for, 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 for the audience <laughs> that? <laughs> okay, an altar now, when uh-huh. you come to the definition of an altar, uh-huh. is a place where a transaction uh-huh. between uh, uh, the human realm uh-huh. and the spiritual realm. Uh-huh. Now, if you begin to pray here uh-huh. and pray consistently, uh-huh. when you come in this atmosphere, uh-huh. you feel like praying, even uh-huh. if I am a stranger. Because the activity of prayer has been happening here, okay, and it has created a portal or an altar has been created. Mm-hmm. Here. It's mm-hmm. the same thing. Now, if you keep on watching pornography, uh-huh. watching pornography, you create around yourself an, an atmosphere okay. of immorality. Uh, and even when people come near you, they won't struggle to begin watching pornography. Uh, okay. Because already that thing is so much around you, you are so much saturated. It's like a magnetic kind mm. of. Um, you know, uh, environment. Yes. And uh, that is what happens. Now, Ukianza ku study story upon mm. na pornography actors. Na hata e content hata iko YouTube. You can mm. see people who have recovered from uh, they were pornography artists or uh, whatever. Uh, after now they are recovered, mm. they have very dark stories. And they will tell you those things were discovered, were dedicated to strange authors. There was a lot of demonology happening, piercings, tattoos. Mm-hmm. Because they, all these things that are happening, do they do them in what they are getting into it? Is it intentional for them? Mm-hmm. Or they're just being caught in the wind of it? What happens mm-hmm. most of the time, uh, some people are enticed okay. because of money. Ah, okay, okay. You see, and then you find it, you are there. Others is just liberality you know mm-hmm. just curious mm-hmm. and want to do stuff yeah and then you, you find yourself in a pit you can't take yourself out of and therefore now pornography becomes a major gate that is affecting people mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. David second Samuel chapter 9 the rule says that he saw a woman bathing that was pornography <laughs> Yes, that in is what. Time. Yes, in that time, mm. like uh, wh- when he saw Bathsheba bathing, mm-hmm. he called for her, and it, that opened a door of mm-hmm. warfare in the life of David, mm-hmm. because now he he slept with Bathsheba, mm-hmm. he had to kill Uriah, mm-hmm. you know, and just it became killed, mm-hmm. and even today that is what is happening. Mm-hmm. A generation has been exposed to pornography, and that has really created chaos. So, so you mentioned. I uh, heard you mention that pornography is the main cause. Pornography is the main cause of uh, of, 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 of of immorality. So, are there uh, apart from pornography as being uh, one of the main entrances? Are there other uh, causes of, of sexual immorality? Sexual immorality. You, you see, uh, yeah, uh, I would. Uh, yes, yes, yes. It's not only about uh, pornography uh-huh. because there are people who are immoral and they don't watch pornography. Uh-huh. 
Right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. also uh, oh. the place of being born or being raised up in broken homes. Wow. It's a huge issue, it's a huge menace. Statistics size are worrying. Tunasema inasema kana Kenya site na record 400,000 divorces per year. Wow. In the court system. Yes, it's it's dangerous. Wow. It's, it's actually just chaotic. Mhm. Uh-huh. And uh, any time na interact na young people like you will find that pain of you know being brought up in mm. a single the parenting system uh-huh. it really affects you uh-huh. so I what extent st- so i'm imagining if if if, if a young probably less a young a young a young guy is brought up by probably just the the the, the, the you see what happens is this uh-huh. okay so more psychology uh-huh. the father gives the identity to the child uh-huh. now when you grow without identity uh-huh. there is something that is missing uh, there is a research that was done in uh-huh. kuna sema actually us only kuna sema the reason why majority of the people in prison are black mm-hmm. is because they were raised without the father. Um to we are growing di kuna kitu ina miss. Na na the, the, uh, in search of filling that gap they they end up in crime, mm-hmm. they end up in immorality mm-hmm. because there is a, there is a an affirmation they are looking for. Mm-hmm. They can't mm-hmm. tell what it is, mm-hmm. but there is something missing in, in it. Mm-hmm. Now anybody who has been brought up um, without a father figure. Okay. You know, if they are to be actually open, mm-hmm. they will tell you. But from a broken home, mm-hmm. there is pain in your life. And then uh, when you grow up, unajipata you are looking for a father and a husband in a same in at the same time. Mm-hmm. Now for you, uh, your mind is unable to separate the two. Yeah. The, the two. Mm-hmm. So unajipata you are attracted to older men because mm-hmm. N- you are not only maybe looking for love you are also looking for affirmation mm. from a father na kuna wasi wengi wa kuyu system hata ya sponsor kwa sababu ya coming from a broken home so one is pornography mention yes. another one is uh, broken homes the yes. effects of broken homes to 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 the lives of uh, ladies and uh, guys and mm. what's the other cause that you and you, 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 you pick is, when you interact with young people just exposure you know that exposure of a lot of access to you know to movies and mm. stuff mm-hmm. it will creates a narrative in you what i can be kuna difference ya being raised and growing up mm-hmm. now you see because of now we in a system where parents are busy yes. kuna generation in a grow up mm-hmm. it is never raised mm-hmm. now in that growing up you be pick a lot of things you're not supposed to pick because there was no moderation for you una get mm-hmm. so una dipata una ingia kwa system yeah 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 immorality mm-hmm. and also there is the place of peer pressure mm-hmm. to introduce one another your bado is it's a cause mm-hmm. and therefore to my partner now the um, kuna yo distorted information lack of role modeling mm-hmm. sai na semekana in Kenya the highest rating shows are sexual related shows in our radios on YouTube bado kiangalia zile shows ziko na the highest subscriptions is when anybody is talking about sex. Oh. It, it's just crazy. So it is, it is it has even infiltrated the new media. Yeah, it's a have it has already infiltrated. And wana say manga sex sells. Mm. Because that's a unajua when I was a saiwa kwa kwa media mm. in radio and in TV. Uh unakuta they joke around sex. Mm-hmm. It is no longer something to talk with the utmost serious and mm-hmm. mm-hmm. uh, you know and the kuna hizo corridor talks zote this is a um to you do na grow up this is a bit a demean and you know every other kind of joke that is being thrown mm-hmm. inaanza ku form in your head by the time msia ko kampo having sex is normal you know mm-hmm. come we stay is a normal thing one night stands is a normal thing mm-hmm. like kuna hiyo this a demonic campaign that was mm-hmm. done mm-hmm. not really openly but it has been done chini ya maji mm-hmm. and therefore kuna indoctrinated generation that uh, sex is not bad na ta sai wose uji defend wanasema i mean you can release pressure stress mm-hmm. nini that is what you do and that's you know to say gospel ya masturbation has been well accepted mm-hmm. it's safe sex uh, you know but no na what we went to the place of it to go on spiritual consequences no na kutambua mm-hmm. religiousness so w- mentioning about all these causes what are the consequences that now is happening in society concerning all these things especially mm-hmm. among 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 the young people 
no it's a web that is interconnected this is on a jua msia kianza vitu kama masturbation when you are that early honestly you can't function in marriage so now that one contributes to the basket of marriage is not working anytime there is a perversion in the land na kutanga sasa was a destruction in anza kuingia ukisoma hata Leviticus 18 God may speak about abominations hapo I'm telling you sexual purity was a requirement to survive in the promised land God alikuwa anawaambia but when you do these things the land will vomit you it will reject you things won't work for you and that is what has been not, has not been taught very many destinies have been butchered in the wrong beds in the wrong sexual practices and so and so i mean i mean seeing all these causes seeing all these consequences where are people to, to where are people to get a solution like um, i'm i'm looking at these people the young people that are watching all this music the young people that they you mentioned are, are, are from broken homes what is the solution like what is the practical solution that uh, should be undertaken in order just to arrest this crisis solution is first to accept we have a problem mm-hmm. in the society mm-hmm. and as a generation to kikuja to agree by the way to na shida mm-hmm. now we can begin uh, inasemekana that acceptance is the first step towards the healing mm-hmm. we have to accept any these are problem something is amiss juu ya ngalia disai they are no longer singing love songs they mm-hmm. are singing sexual songs mm-hmm. like we, we need to understand to mengia face flani yani mm-hmm. dangerous juu mm-hmm. Especially perversion mm-hmm. attracts judgment. Ask days of Noah. Mm-hmm. Ask the days of Lot. Bible mm-hmm. unasema mm-hmm. ukisoma Luke 17:24 inaanza kusema as it was in the days of Noah mm-hmm. as it was in the days of Lot so shall it be in the day of the coming of the son of man. Mm-hmm. Na ukisoma hizo dates kulikuwa na destruction by water na ya pili ni kuja destruction by fire. Now the, when we come to that space destruction is the next thing if people mm-hmm. don't repent. Mm-hmm. And so I mean I believe with, uh, with all my heart solution is Jesus. We have to come back to Christ. Jew, when Jesus died, he redeemed our flesh, our soul mm-hmm. and even our spirit. So for for this young person probably that mm-hmm. is in the, in, the, in the, has been brought up with the with the technologies of, of tabs of of free access to information, to videos to how do you introduce Jesus in in, in to such a person how do you create an environment where they are constantly in a place where they walk in the light of god what um, are the, those entrances places of introduction number one you say pursue purity in a community mm-hmm. i think in second timothy 2:12 anaambiwa anamwambia pursue holiness and righteousness and peace and love with them that call upon the name of the lord mm-hmm. make pursue it in a community be in a community where you can pursue Uh, holiness and then I, i also believe the place of discipline no do our kids life ya yeah, joseph joseph accepted to go to prison mm-hmm. and purity has a prison it takes you the prison of boundaries do uh, when you choose purity or not choose purity you will end up in a prison mm-hmm. but now which prison you enter determines your next step because joseph left prison and went to the palace Samson left prison and went for his funeral. <laughs> it, it is it is that dangerous. Mm-hmm. And therefore lazima uelewe the price of purity is lowest today. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow it gets more expensive. Mm-hmm. Now you need to understand uh, you have to, to come to a place where uh Na unajua unapenda language ya Bible, the Bible inasema ukisoma in 1 Corinthians 6:18 inasema flee immorality. Mm-hmm. Not You know uh, you don't evangelize to Potiphar's wife uh. you will run <laughs> literally you flee uh. it, it is a place of flee you mm-hmm. have to flee mm-hmm. flee morality you mm-hmm. know uh, any other sin you commit mm-hmm. is outside the body mm-hmm. but the sin of sexual immorality mm-hmm. you sin against your own body now for some time i took time to study that mm-hmm. and to realize it when you sin against your own body mm-hmm. you have opened a door for I any other sin to encroach on mm-hmm. and sasa ukikuwa wewe ni victim of sexual immorality mm-hmm. lying become is not uh, uh, it becomes very easy for you it's not hard for you to lie mm-hmm. you know moving in dealers bitterness is of to zingine zote they begin to find expression because you have sinned against mm-hmm. your own yeah, yeah. 
Now we are talking about this person who mm-hmm. has been has grown in media and all stuff. Yes. Now how do they pursue purity? Mm-hmm. That's why I was saying now you have to allow yourself to go to a prison called discipline. Mm-hmm. You have to discipline yourself. You have to come to a place una jua manzi kitu na struggle nine na nitakuwa mri I'll face it. Mm-hmm. Don't sweep it under the carpet. Mm-hmm. Number one, you need and you need to introduce a parallel program. Mm-hmm. Kama ni porn una watch, introduce watching something else. Mm-hmm. Uh, come on, you know, that is stuff you are watching mm-hmm. and is so all I'm listening to. Begin to introduce a parallel system. Mm-hmm. Now, the first step you have to to get born again. Mm-hmm. Of course, easy if it is out there, who is it? Where is that? Who conquer? Come on, the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. According to Galatians, I think 5.16, in Asema, mm-hmm. walk in the Spirit and you will not fulfill the desires of the flesh. Mm-hmm. So you have first to be born again mm-hmm. and then now we begin to to introduce other elements of discipline mm-hmm. you equipping your body your soul and your spirit anytime kuna hiyo imbalance moja ita overrule over the other yeah. mm-hmm. no, it's not even see is done mm-hmm. so number one, you have to accept that christ is the sole solution and then start kuja tuongeze place ya um you know the place of prayer mm-hmm. the place of iwadinte uh, mm-hmm. reduce your hour of sleeping unajua because most of the times they are idle in the bed mm. and the next thing comes is so avoid that idle time in bed dk mimi i'm sleeping this 4 hours or 5 hours <coughs> ikifika 4 make a covenant with your bed vomit me at 4 <laughs> <laughs> you know reduce your sleeping time uh also read other books mm-hmm. you know, that are equipping you mm-hmm. and this is one thing i found that is very helpful mm-hmm. always have something you're pursuing kama kuna kitu tu inakusumbua a certain topic mm-hmm. have a book you're reading your distraction will create your life utakuanga busy hata vitu zingine they become very minute and you don't even remember about them wow because you cannot ignore the place body kona hormones mm-hmm. meaning there's a lot of chemistry that yes. is going on in your body mm-hmm. but now you have to manage it and if people want to reach out to you, where can that's your camera? Where can they reach out? Uh, Instagram Nico, Johnny Pish, FB Nico Pish, Tona Pish, Nico Pish. Reach me out there. You can find me. YouTube Nico by the way, Johnny Pish. Uh, go there, watch a few videos, and you'll be blessed. And what do you have to say to to our audiences now that you came through? What what is that last uh, party show that you have for them concerning sexual purity? Uh, parting shot. And my parting shot is this. Um, every time we want to blame King David because of you know sleeping with Bathsheba, killing Uriah, and uh, you know a child was born and even died. But have we ever asked ourselves why did Uriah build a bathroom without a roof? And this is my challenge to you: fix your roof. The first time it happened, you were a victim. The second time, you were a volunteer. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you so much. We had another uh, time to join us in renewal. As we normally say, this is a place and a home for inspiration. Continually just make you become better. Be the best version of yourself. I've been your host, Joel. Until next time, have a great one. Bye bye.